Yeah. Started off nice anyway. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Look at this. Ah, oh, this is Loch Derg. I absolutely love it here. I love it. It's one of my favorite spots. So um, this is the home of Brian Baru and there's immense history here. Uh, today we're gonna to be doing an 18 kilometer hike. Um, it's called the Ara Loop, but we're gonna be do going over the Ara Mountains up Tuntina. Um, we're gonna be going up to the Millennium Cross. And then we're going to be taking a trip down near um, the graves of the Leinstermen. Uh, but look, I'll tell you about them when we're going along. But uh, man, I'm pumped for this one. I love it. Okay, let's get after it. We're making our way up the Clonabrian Hill and that's where there is the uh, the cross, the Millennium Cross that was put up there. It's a 65 foot 4 ton cross that they put up there um, recently enough, so yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> what are you like? Come here. Good girl. What are you like? I was going to lift you over. She said to crawl through the steps. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, it's getting hotter. It's great to hear all the bees. Everything starting to come alive, which is amazing. He's a fun, good girl. Good girl. Come on, I'll help you. Here we go. Up. Well done. This is the start of the steps. <laughs> These are a pain. And they go on for a long time. Let the leg burning begin. Oh Jesus. More steps. Oh my God. It's just endless steps. Great though. Really test the muscles. Go on. I mentioned earlier about Brian Baru. So about a thousand years ago, Ireland was split into quadrants, Munster, Len Leinster, Connacht, Ulster. Uh, the borders of our provinces never stayed the same uh, due to marriage between, um, between villages and uh, clans and then you had alliances between clans which constantly shifted the borders of landowners. So that's, um, so what we have now wasn't always what we had. It could have been a lot different. So um, at the turn of the first millennium, you had Brian Baru's brother Mahan, who decided to battle the Viking King Eimer of Limerick because the Viking king was imposing very heavy taxations on the people and Mahan, uh, Brian Brew's brother, decided to battle him, which he did, but he was killed. So this, in turn, for the younger brother, Brian, started his campaign. So he, in turn, tracked down, tracked down um, Eimer and his men on one of the small islands on Loch Derg and slaughtered every one of them. This in turn made Brian Baru one of the kings of Munster, which did not go down well with the Viking king of Leinster at the time. Now his name is uh, Citrix Silkenbeard. How cool is that name? It's better than mine. <laughs> so that battle happened and uh, Brian Baru bested um, Silkenbeard and became one of the most famous 
High Kings of Ireland. Love it. <laughs> wow. Unreal. So, this here, this is the remnants of the Eucharistic cross that was, um, that was put up here in 1932. And in 1945, it was struck by lightning and destroyed. So that laid way for the uh, Millennium Cross that was put up um, in its place. Well, not in its place, it was put off. But that's a 65 foot, four ton cross that they put up. But we'll get a better look at it in a minute. So next up, Graves of the Lencermen, and then up to Tontina. Oh, what a hot day. Still though, when the sun goes in, it's actually still, there's, a, there's a chilly breeze there. Chilly breeze. <laughs> We're coming up now to the Graves of the Lencermen. See if we can find the, the standing stones. So we are here. You see all the stones, all the standing, not standing stones. There isn't much to see here, but this is the location. There's kind of, there's a number of stories. If you look into history, you'll always see a, a change in stories, but there was two of them that stood out to me. One was the story where the, the, the King of Leinster was was invited to a Viking wedding um, in Limerick. So the, the Leinster king was in alliance with um, the Vikings. So he was trying to sneak through Brian Baru's territory over the Ara Mountains, going to their highest point, which is we're going up to Tontina, and that's where the battle happened. Um, Brian Baru wasn't around at the time. So his wife, Gorm Lee, Incidentally, Gorm Lee is actually the mother of Citric Silkenbeard, which Brian murdered. Yeah, crazy. Anyway, she got wind that the Leinster, the King of Leinster and his men were coming through this area and she ambushed him. So she led the battle with the, her shield maidens and warriors that were there and she killed and slaughtered every one of them. And this is where they were buried. The other story was that the King of Leinster was making his way down here to meet Brian and to ask for Brian's daughter's hand in marriage to strike up an alliance. Gorm Lee opposed that and behind Brian's back she arranged to ambush the king that she knew was coming through this area through scouts that she had out in the um in on, on, the, on the way here. So either way, Gorm Lee which is Brian Brew's wife, led the attack, killing the King of Leinster and all his men. And they are buried here. And it's known as the Graves of the Leinstermen. Yeah. Cool. Here. I had to break out the sun hat. It's way too hot. Even though I was told recently that I look like a snowman with my round head. I'll take that. Coming to the top of Tontina now. This is where the battle happened because it was the King of Leinster and his men were trying to sneak over the highest point just to, uh, just to get to Limerick. Where they were met. To their doom. I think that bench has my name in it for lunch. <laughs> Not a bad spot. Cheers everyone. Okay, hat back on, it's getting cold. Uh, fed in water, leave no trace. Let's hit the trail. Just finishing off the circle. There's a, a bit of a road, a road path. 
So joining back up now with our original hike up to back up to the Millennium Cross. So yep. So we're back at the Millennium Cross. 65 foot high and four tons. Incredible. You can see it from far and wide. There's massive showers in the distance. We seem to miss them all. The showers behind me. Yeah. The showers out over there. A bit wind, but look, let's hope we'll, let's hope we'll miss them. I'll lift it. There we go. There we go. Good girl. Yeah, I think it's uh I think we're at the limit of what she can do now. Um she's 16 and a half now, so yeah. I think this this is the max. The old rain has arrived. Isn't it amazing how fast the weather can change? <laughs> I'm trying to shield the dog from getting wet. Hello, moo cows. My God, from uh, sun cream to sun hats to hailstones to wet gear. <laughs> Only in Ireland. Anyway, we're getting back to the car now. Incredible hike, brilliant history. Uh, thank you so much for watching and as I always say, I'm just uh, trying to promote mental health awareness through um, hiking. And hopefully one of these videos might inspire you or a friend to um, get out on the trail and show what mother nature can do for uh, your mental fitness. So uh, until then, until the next time, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, uh, give us a like. It really helps the channel and um, stay safe out there and stay safe out in the mountain.